In case you hadn't heard, Disney isn't just for kids anymore. The family entertainment mecca has hit the 90s full stride with the new West Side Metropolis at Downtown Disney. People will say, wow, I can't believe this is here in Orlando. That's because in addition to the quaint collection of shops and restaurants at Disney's Marketplace and Pleasure Island's waterfront restaurants and night spots, Downtown Disney's West Side features a variety of boutiques and specialty stores and plenty of good things to eat. Anywhere you look around downtown Disney's 120 acre spread, you're bound to find something for just about everybody. What's your favorite thing to do here at downtown Disney? The candy cauldron. Why? Because it has all kinds of great candy. 43rd Street, the best cake. If that's not enough, check out the celebrity-owned restaurants at Disney's West Side. Music stars Gloria and Emilio Estefan own Bongo's Cuban Cafe. Inside or out, you can enjoy superb Cuban cuisine seasoned with the flavor of Miami's tropical South Beach sizzle. The food is really, really good. The music is great, and I'm just hoping that Gloria Estefan will come in here and just sing less one song. Then there's Wolfgang Puck Cafe. Now, Puck serves up some of the same signature entrees you can enjoy at his popular Hollywood eatery, better known as Spago's. His wife, Barbara Lazaroff, used her avant-garde color and flair to decorate the multi-level restaurant. I've eaten at Spago in L.A., um, Aubergine in Hollywood, um, Puck Express over at uh, Marketplace, and I'm um, here to check out their new cafe. And then, if you'd like a little jazz, blues, country, or gospel, served up with some of that unmistakable Mississippi Delta cuisine. Head on over to the House of Blues. You'll be able to eat um, food, fantastic Southern uh, Delta cuisine food. Um, it's, we got an eclectic menu and um, uh, we think we have the best food in town. And just to round out your entire downtown Disney experience, look out for a few new faces at Disney's Marketplace and Pleasure Island. There is a brand new Lego Imagination Center at the Marketplace that features a store, outdoor play area, and gigantic Lego creatures for the kids to enjoy. A super-sized McDonald's Fun House is on the way, too. And come next spring, Pleasure Island heats up the night with the addition of Black Entertainment Television's popular Soundstage Club, featuring R&B, soul, and hip-hop. So when you finish up your day at the Disney theme parks, head downtown. That's Downtown Disney, of course. From Walt Disney World Resort, I'm Madeline Woods. Here's the scoop. Downtown Disney's a place unlike any other on this planet Earth. It's got 23 of the hottest entertainment features available for family fun. You can enjoy it by day or night, and in addition to the established restaurants and stores, there's no telling as to what you may find in this downtown's main drag. You see, some people come here to make their dreams come true, such as Heather and William. They wanted their wedding reception to be a stroll through downtown Disney's west side. Did you do your waltz yet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> la, 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 la. Come on, honey. Let's join them. La, 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 la. Then it was off to Pleasure Island for Heather and William, where they planned to end their first merry day by dancing in the world's greatest party place. Since there's so much to do and see here, we decided to check in with someone who could show us around. We found him at Bongo's Cuban Cafe. His name is Desi Arnaz, and you can catch his show here at night where he says he manages the place for the superstar couple Emilio and Gloria Stefan. In front of us uh -huh. is Wolfgang Puck. Uh -huh. That cafe is incredible. They serve the most exquisite international cuisine. Across the street we have the Virgin Records, uh -huh. which is a wonderful, huge mega store. And a huge one it is. 49,000 square foot music, video, interactive and book retail destination. Did I tell you about the guitars? No need to. I had already seen it. More than 150 custom, collector, rare, and unique guitars from the best manufacturers in the world. Everybody loves music. You're never too old to learn to play guitar. Hungry art thou? I have just the thing for thee. We came across a major attraction for children of all ages. That's your favorite? Oh, I love that. Really? Mm. 
Come on, tell me about it because I don't eat candy. Well, Desi, Candy Caldron is a sweet shopping wonderland themed as the Dungeon of the Wicked Queen from the Walt Disney Pictures animated film, Snow White. Come with us to the Salsa family factory. This is a cigar factory. This is where we found Don Se Queda rolling cigars. He even gave us some tips about cigars, like placing them in the refrigerator to keep them fresh. Downtown Disney's the place to discover and find absolutely fantastic merchandise to show off to your friends. This is Celebrity Eyeworks, where visitors shop with the feeling of being on a movie set. This is the place that uh, we all get our, you know, sunglasses. I see. They are okay. wonderful. They, the people here Strictly are incredible. For celebrities, right? Extremely. According to Desi, another interesting place to visit is this wonder from the past. Starabilia, with over 1,000 pieces of original memorabilia at any given time. It's incredible. It would take hours to show you all downtown Disney has to offer. Tell me about it. <laughs> From House of Blues with concerts almost every night, to stories of wonder and fascination like Hoi Polloi, an uncommon gallery of art and decor. And Magnetron, offering 20,000 magnets that talk, ring, and even light up. Not to mention Planet Hollywood and the moviegoers Dream AMC Theaters, a 110,000 square foot facility. This is a wonderful place to be. It's very family oriented. You have everything that you can imagine. Just come over here, have fun. So let's do it, girl. <laughs> cha cha cha. From the Walt Disney World Resort, this is Mari Santana reporting. In the kitchen and above the door at the new Wolfgang Puck Cafe at downtown Disney West Side, super chef Wolfgang Puck appears to be a one-man band of pizza, salad, and shrimp. But don't be fooled. Right next to this great man is a great woman. My wife uh, builds them and hangs out in the dining room and talks to the customers, makes them happy, and I cook. Wife, partner, restaurateur, and designer Barbara Lazaroff is the force behind the signature Puck look. Lazaroff used that vibrant style as a base for the cafe at Walt Disney World. Obviously, we're at Disney World. I wanted a restaurant that was a very inclusive restaurant. It's, it puts its arm around you, around you and says, come in, we want you to be here. Lazaroff has taken that idea one step farther. And that's what we really are here. We're downtown Disney. We're a neighborhood. And so we want to be we want to be good neighbors we want people to flow through the streets and feel like uh, it's our living room their living room and what do we find in this colorful whimsical neighborhood a sushi and raw bar greets guests as they enter the freshest of shrimp oysters and sushi are served on Lazaroff's 60-foot inlaid gemstone bar top appetizer and dessert stations tempt the nose and eyes with beautiful offerings and while food is the main attraction, the restaurant also relies on strong visual elements. The design of the space is one where the exhibition kitchen is really the focal point. It's about um, showing the freshness of the food, being able to, to smell your food in preparation, and also seeing it because, you know, you eat with your eyes first. In addition to the food, the cafe offers bold colors, rich woodwork, custom lighting, and artisan crafted ceramics some up to eight feet tall. There's one here with some con electrical conduit coming out of it, and he went, oh my God, that thing is really strange. I don't know if I like that one. And I said to him, well, it's not for you to like. There's things for everyone to like. While Puck might not be fond of all of Barbara's visions, he knows they both bring vital elements to the restaurant's success. He also offers an even more compelling reason their relationship works. Well, I think it's important, you know, that we work together. You know, we are married, so we have to work together. If not, we have to get divorced, and that's too expensive, so.
What you have here is the marriage of a great dining experience and entertainment. Bongos, for example, will have uh, entertainment every single night. And then you go to a House of Blues, and House of Blues is really a concert venue that has some of the hottest, latest acts. I, I think it's for the entire family. Obviously, there's enough here where it has a strong nighttime orientation. But uh, there's enough of an offering here that it's, it can be for the entire family. It can be for couples out, uh, for a date. It can be a single experience. It can be whatever you want it to be. When you come over here and you go to the west side, you just have some absolutely fantastic merchandise uh, opportunities. The Virgin Megastore. There's nothing else like it in, in, in the southeast.
First of all, I take an enchanted apple and dip it in the caramel. And then, for those nut lovers, <clears throat> some magical nuts.